We have an update in our investigation into Hunter Biden using Air Force Two as his own private jet, business class, of course. Primetime can now exclusively report that Hunter Biden used Air Force Two to get to at least 15 different countries. Joe Biden can no longer deny he was in business with his son. He was literally his co-pilot. But newly unearthed photos from the laptop, Secret Service records, and videos show Hunter traveled a lot more than we knew. Here's Hunter in Croatia with his family back in 2015, mixing Joe Biden's business with pleasure, obviously. And here's Hunter sitting on Air Force Two in Kosovo. Wonder what was wrong. Hunter was in Kosovo with his family to visit a road dedicated to his late brother, Bo. Primetime's investigating Hunter's meetings while in Kosovo. But you never know where Hunter ends up. We told you earlier this week Hunter used Air Force Two to meet up with business partners. He sent emails from the plane. Hunter went directly to Serbia on Air Force Two and even invited his Serbian client in Biden's motorcade. Quote, I'll make sure we can spend time together and maybe you could come with me in the motorcade to the airport if you have time. And tonight we have even more video of Hunter in foreign countries. Who's that in the blue ball cap just a few steps behind the vice president? Well, that's Hunter, 13 years ago in Canada. He followed his dad out of the motorcade, always keeping a little distance, trying to stay clear of the cameras, but we got him. Earlier this week, we showed you how Hunter would slink into the back seat of Joe's limo after getting off Air Force Two. Here he is in Japan. And then there he is in Germany. I think he's skulking behind Jill. Yep, that's Hunter. We also found him in Italy, shaking hands with the prime minister. Hunter spent a lot of time in Italy. It's where he met Burisma's owner. The only time we saw Hunter actually walk off Air Force Two with the VP was in China. There he is. Later that trip, Joe Biden shook hands with Hunter's Chinese client in the lobby of the hotel, and then the Biden family got a $25 million deal. It's not just Europe, Asia, and North Africa. Hunter requested Secret Service protection in Egypt, South Africa, and Kenya. The same dates his dad traveled there on Air Force Two in 2010. So, remember, while Joe was vice president, Hunter siphoned everything he could out of Africa, helping the Chinese buy up African cobalt mines in 2016. Now, with most vice presidents, you don't really have to think twice about their families coming on trips with them. But with the Bidens, you have to ask questions. So we have a FOIA request in demanding the records for every person who was on Joe Biden's dozens of trips as vice president. This is a family with over 20 shell companies, offshore bank accounts, bribe allegations, millions in dirty foreign cash, no taxes paid. Most people like that end up in jail with that kind of record. And my next guest did. Michael Franzis is a former mobster with the Colombo family. So, Michael, what did you do to get convicted? Well, it was a RICO case that I pled guilty on. Um, I actually had three RICO cases. Two of them were federal. One brought on by Rudy Giuliani, and the other one was a state uh, RICO case out of Florida. So I spent uh, several months on trial defending one. I was fortunately acquitted in that case. I pled guilty to a, a second federal RICO indictment and uh, also pled guilty to a third in Florida. So I'm very familiar with the statute. Uh, so Jesse. the statute, you understand, is a kind of a conspiracy deal. And obviously, there was some taxes not paid. How was that similar and what you were doing similar to the Bidens? Well, Jesse, you know, I had 18 shell companies. And when I say shell companies, all these companies had was a bank account. They had no brick and mortar office. We had no employees. We had no product that we were selling, nothing. All we did was collect money. And the money that I was collecting was uh, tax money that we were defrauding the government out of. So, uh, and the only purpose, again, for these companies was to collect that money. So, um, you know, it's, it's exactly the same thing that I see going on with Biden. And I'm wondering why they're not asking certain questions. Well, what service did you provide? What product did you sell? Why were you collecting this money? I mean, these are easy questions, uh, but there don't seem to be any answers to them. <laughs> and, you know, I'm going to tell you this, Jesse, I'm very familiar with the statute. Um, you have suspicious bank accounts. You got money flowing into shell companies. 
Uh, you have money going into everybody but Joe Biden, of course. If this he doesn't want to, you know, put this money in his account, you wouldn't do that. I didn't put the money in my account. It went everywhere else, and then I collected it in a different way. So you have all of this. You have text messages. You have emails. You have photos. You have witnesses. This is a slam dunk RICO indictment. Now, I'm not saying there's going to be a conviction. I don't know. You're innocent until proven guilty. But as far as an indictment, if this were one of my fellow associates on the street or myself, I'd have been indicted a long time ago with the amount of evidence that I'm seeing just from a distance and what I'm hearing every day. Michael, you said that the money came into these shells and none of them actually hit your bank account. You got the money in other ways. What did you mean by that? Because that's what Joe's saying. No penny hit his account. Well, of course it wouldn't hit his account. If this is money, he doesn't want to be attached to him. If he's influence peddling or his son is going around selling Joe's office or Joe's uh, illusion of, you know, being able to provide a service as vice president, why would he have the money going into his account? He doesn't want it, you know, attached to him in any way. So he could send it everywhere else. But, you know, in this case, sending it to family members, there still has to be a service that these family members provided. Why is the money going into their accounts? What did they do for it? And, of course, the sources are questionable, you know, China and Ukraine and, and so on and so forth. Again, Jesse, I'm not saying he's, he's innocent or he's guilty. What I'm saying is, from my experience, and it's vast, this is a slam dunk indictment, no doubt. <laughs> There's a pattern of racketeering here. This was done over a period of time. You could say that there's an argument can be made that the Biden is a criminal organization if this money is coming in illegally. Um, but it, it certainly looks that way to me. I mean, and again, uh, you know, not only did I defend my own, but I've seen many of my former associates that had RICO indictments, and the pattern is always the same. And this looks exactly like that. Are you in the United States right now, Mike? No, I'm in Italy right now. <laughs> <laughs> Ciao. <laughs> Have a Thank great you. night. Thanks, yes. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.